Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today's video we are going to do a smoky eye. I know, we do those all the time. Well this one is different. This one is a blue smoky eye. And it's going to be kind of glam, kind of nightlife type thing. So we are going to do it with this Dollar Tree palette. It's LA Colors and I got it at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. We're going to use this palette to make our smoky eye. Not just this palette because I'll probably need to use, uh, you know, gel liner and mascara and stuff like that. But it has three colors in it and we're going to get rid of this little guy. And it, we're going to use, I don't, we're going to use all of them. Anyways, it's got a black and a gray and a white and they're all shimmers. The name of the palette is Lily. I don't know why, but that's what it says. Anyways, that's what we're going to use. And we're going to use our um, Wet n Wild Con or Crease Brush, which I did find a link for, and they are 99 cents through the link. But I'd still say if you can find them at your Dollar Tree, get them there because they're they're a dollar, but there's no shipping or anything. And I don't know what kind of shipping they have because this is on the Wet n Wild site that I that I put the, got the link from. So if you can find them at a store, it's always cheaper to get them there because you don't have to pay shipping. But I did find a link for them, so they're great brushes, especially for. 99 cents or a dollar or 93 cents. They don't I've never seen this brush this crease brush at Walmart though Anyways, we're gonna start with the center color the gray one and we're gonna put that in our crease to start with And I hope it's not too patchy I tried this on my I swatched it on my hand and they looked like they were going to be okay so hopefully they will I'm just going to put this in my crease and above just like a transition color. It's gonna be super smoky. It's a little patchy, but it's all right for a dollar. You can make it work. And I'm going to take a different brush. I'm just going to use the e.l.f. brush, I guess. And I'm going to go into that same color and kind of pull it down and around to the bottom. Because I always forget to go back and do the bottom. As you guys know, I always come back after I get my lashes on and go, I did this because I forgot to do it. We're just going to go ahead and do it right now. Maybe I won't forget. Well, obviously I won't forget. Now, granted, this is probably not going to be like an everyday eye. This is going to be for special occasions or nighttime or which, you know. Okay, and then I'm going to go back with this brush again that I was doing the top with and just blend that a little bit.
Then we're going to go in with the black. And I'm going to use this little real tech brush and we're going to go into the black. And I'm just going to put it right down here in the corner. I know it looks kind of messy right now, but it'll all work out. And then I'm going to go back in with this fluffy brush. Just kind of blend that in. And then I'm going to go in with the, what did I do with it? Oh, here it is. Blue. This is a gorgeous cream shadow that I found. And it is made by, wait for it, e.l.f. This is an e.l.f. product. Yes, and it's gorgeous. It's this super blue cream shadow. I put it on earlier with my finger when I was just trying it out. I just I didn't have anything else on and it kind of got everywhere. So I'm going to try it with a brush. See if I can <laughs> aim it a little better. But the color is gorgeous. noise you hear is my ceiling fan. It's hot and it's very unbalanced. Obviously. And I can't get my husband to fix it. He doesn't see it as a problem. Probably because he never comes in here. Okay, this is a little blotchy too. So once you get it on, I would take my finger and just mess with it. Get it nice and even. Or not. It may not even get even. It sets up pretty fast. Isn't it pretty? Isn't it the prettiest color blue?
great mermaid color for Halloween. I can't wait till I get to make you guys Halloween videos. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so much fun. Do you guys like to go cosplay? I love it. I love Renaissance festivals and I love Halloween. Yes, the gray is a little patchy, but that's okay. I'm good with it. Things don't have to be perfect. Now I am going to put liner on. I'm just going to use my L'Oreal gel liner and push line this in. Okay, now I'm going to use the same black that I put on the top, the same LA Girl black to push this into the line. And I kind of feel like this needs black line. Okay, I'm going to, I think, use my Kat Von D liner to make a nice line.
not good enough. All right, I'm gonna go put on some lashes and some mascara. And then I'll come back and show you the final look. Hello everybody, this is the final look. I went and I put on some eyelashes and eyebrows. I don't know if I had those on already. Some lipstick and that's pretty much it. I just put on my lipstick and my eyelashes and my eyebrows because I had forgot to put my eyebrows on. And this is the look you get. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And let me tell you what I used. I used the Koki for my eyebrows. This is the new product at um, Walmart. That's what I use for my eyebrows. I use the LA Girl Shadow for all these colors. And the e.l.f. What is this? This is an e.l.f. gel, or actually, I don't know if it's gel. It says cream eyeliner. And I only saw this one color. It was in the new section. and But I've seen it a few times. I just didn't know what it was. And I didn't know it was so beautiful. So anyways, this is the e.l.f. cream liner. I use that. For my liners, I used Kat Von D liner across the top. I used L'Oreal gel lacquer liner to push into my lashes. And then I used the same LA Girl, um, the black one, to push in to just to set that gel. Then I used Tightline It Tightline Primer in black. For my mascara, I used the Salon Perfect Go Glam lashes that I get at Walmart. Um, my lipstick, I used the Remmel um, I can't read it. There's no way. But I've told you guys before, I'm sure. But this is the Remmel East End Snob number 063 and it is the exaggerated full color lip liner and I did I put that all over my lips and then I put this um, this is also Remmel but it's a collaboration with Kate I don't know who Kate is um, and it's in the color 45 it says 45 on the end and it's this nude color um, case and it says Lasting finish by Kate Lip Lipstick I don't know what else it says. I can't read it. That's what it is. It's Rimmel by Kate. Rimmel London SW19 Doesn't have a color. Just number 45. And I put that on top. And I didn't put a gloss on it. And that's it. That is our smoky eye. Smoky blue eye. Nightlife look. And so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in my next video.